Standing behind us is a house that is just finished building. AIM has built this house for a family of eight. There was really bad domestic violence in the family. The father beat up their own children and his wife. And one day he decided to tear down the whole house and then just left. And the family ended up living in a tent. Those children are attending our AIM school and also our Kids from Kids Club. So there was a uh, collaboration between AIM school and AIM church social worker. They did a family assessment and then we ended up building a new home for them. And now the family has a safe place. The children have a safe and secure place to stay. Actually, project is fall on the hand of school. But school, you know, work cooperatively because they all want to honor the church ministry and we uh, contact with Pastor Richard to really uh, do this evaluation. School hand over that projects to, to the church so that church can more connecting with the community. Yes, our church, we have a lot of poor people around Swai Pa. Uh, they are our church congregations. So this house that we get involved because she don't have any house. You know, she stay in the tents there, uh, behind of the wall of her neighbor. So uh, the rain and the hot is coming, so we cannot uh, only say love, but we need to act of love to them. You know, Jesus, when he looked to people, he looked with mercy to the people. But we are uh, the, a Christian, and then we are the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why don't we act of of, uh, of love like him. In our uh, NGO, our organization, we, we have like agape love, right? This is the most important for us that we show love to our people. Especially, I, I know that Jesus called us, called our church, called our church congregation and called all our staff to show love to the people. So our church, we bring all our church members to pray and to help and to support this family. This one, we can say that we can help this family for uh, safety, especially we fight with the human trafficking. The father, so he was not happy for us to build a house for the family. He come and want to make trouble, want to beat the girl. So pastor went there to really represent the family and ask why he wanted to be the girl because he said I'm the father so if you want to be the girl it's not right and then we report that to the local authority uh, when he came and then make sure that he won't come again so we said if you abuse or beat your child even though your child don't file a complaint we on behalf of the child will file a complaint to uh, the police and you can be arrested and then I report that to uh, SWAT as well and SWAT said whatever that they can best support just let them know if there's any abuse happen, just give them a ring. They will come right away. We ensure the family have a safe place to stay and also uh, our program can work with them to support them so the girl can have a chance to have a good education from our school. Right now we work across program to support each other to ensure that uh, the family are protected, the family are supported and also prevent from all forms of trafficking. We should help them to really not fall into that kind of tragedy. And of course, to stop the evil of sex trafficking, you need to have prevention, you need to have rescue, you have to have restoration and reintegration. That all have to be together. You cannot just separate apart. And here, the community here need to really hear the gospel and then prevention need to go and help them to change and transform their behavior. All of us can join hand together to stop the evil of sex trafficking by preventing all our loving girl and boy and all the whole community 